Bronte Law up 17 spots to 24th in the world The 18-hole blitzer overcome a 10-shot deficit to force a playoff at the LPGA MEDIHEAL Championship turned into 90 straight holes of dominant golf for Law as she sat in first place all week at the Pure Silk Championship to become a Rolex first-time winner on the LPGA Tour. She topped her best career finish of T2 from the week prior with the victory, jumping up from 64th in the Rolex Women's World Rankings before heading to Daly City to 24th before the second major of the year. Madeleine Sagstrom up 57 spots to 92nd in the world. Sagstrom notched her fifth LPGA top 10 after finishing a career best T2 at the Pure Silk Championship. It bumped her back into the top 100 for the first time since October of 2018, and her best ranking since September of 2018. Her previous best finish in 2019 was at the ISPS Hander Women's Australian Open, where she finished 33rd. Sagstrom is not in the field this week. Catherine Perry up 184 spots to 241st in the world Perry went from Monday qualifying to rocketing up the leaderboard, finishing in T9 for her first career top 10 finish on the LPGA. Perry was clutch in a critical moment as the first reshuffle of the year occurred after the Pure Silk Championship. Perry's priority status before the Rish Uffel was 367th after finishing 136th in the money list last year. She now sits at 141st in the priority list after the top 10 effort. Jin Young Ko maintains lead as trail group forms. Jin Young Ko has held steady in the lead, with the trail pack slowly gaining ground on the no. One golfer, Ko has 2,171 race to the CME Globe points and 129 Rolex Player of the Year points. Lee has 1,637 race to the CME Globe points and 66 Rolex Player of the Year points. Nelly Corder, Brooke Henderson, and Yoon Hee Ji all form a close trail pack, with 1,300, 1,284, and 1,279 race to CME Globe points, respectively. Jin Young Ko holds the Rolex Annika Major Award lead with 60 points after winning the Anna Inspiration, as we head into the U.S. Women's Open this week. Last year, Iria Jutanugan won with 88 points. Jung and Lee Six has 452 Louise Suggs Rolex Rookie of the Year points, with Kristen Gilman in second at 288 points. Solheim Cup points Team Europe Bronte Law's recent stretch of play has vaulted her up to fourth on Team Europe's Rolex World Rankings. The team takes the top five players in the Rolex World Rankings who haven't qualified by let Solheim Cup points. The catch for Law is she hasn't played enough let events to make the team by either of those paths. Her only opportunity is to be a captain's pick by Katrina Matthews, and Van Dam holds a tie with Caroline Headwall from the let points lead. She would have to get passed by a Headwall and two others to lose her current position on the team, as she currently has no plans to go back to any let events. Team USA Christy Kerr, 224.5, jumped up a spot with her top 10 at the Pure Silk Championship ahead of Megan Kang, 219.5, who holds the final LPGA Solheim Cup points slot. Austin Ernst and Brittany Altamere remain in the trail group, sitting at 187 and 185.5 points. Respectively, the Rolex ranking spots remain close, with Austin Ernst and Angela Stanford holding the final two positions for Team USA. Stanford holds a .09 average lead over Amy Olsen, who finished T13 in Williamsburg last week. The next two closest players, Angel Yin and Annie Park, sit behind Stanford by .16 and .24 respectively. Let's block ads. Why?